This is October 2018 update. We are going to talk about Net Gateway, which is a network address translation. I know this does not make much sense at this stage, but it will once we are done with the, the theory and the lab. So what is it? Network address translation is the process where a network device, usually a firewall, assigns a public address to a computer or to a group of computers. So why does it need to do that? It does that so there are a couple of reasons. You have limited IP addresses, so you want to make sure you don't use them all up. And secondly, you don't want to expose some of your systems to the internet. And uh, there could be group of com computers or systems which could go out to the internet and get get the software updated. And this could happen maybe once or twice or three or thrice a year. So you don't want to use up your IPs for those reasons. So this is a good way of doing it. You can assign a NAT gateway and that way your systems can, can go out and fetch the software they need to update. So why you want to use it? Net Gateway to your VCN gives instances in a private subnet access to the internet. Uh, most of the systems in a are behind the firewall, and they don't have access to the internet. So this way, you are not putting your systems, which are important to you or critical to you, into the public subnet. You're putting it into a private subnet behind a firewall but you are giving them a tunnel to access the internet if they need to. It could be to update the software on those systems, or it could be send out error messages to the client who are trying to access it. So private subnet don't have public IP address. So with the NAT gateway, they can initiate connections to the internet. They are highly available and support TCP, UDP, and ICMP ping traffic. So when they are used, you also have a private resource that needs to be protected from the inbound traffic from the internet. So again, as I mentioned, you could have a database which holds the vital information of your customers and you don't want that to be exposed to the internet and you put that in a private subnet behind a firewall. So again, but that database needs to access the internet to update security patches or whatever it could be. It could, it could be sending out messages to the client. So that's where it comes in place. It's an a extra security feature. The resources need to initiate connections, database or the service to the software library and get the software updated. This also uh, helps you in controlling routing in your VCN. So at the subnet level, you can specify which subnet can access the NAT gateway. So you control not all of them, but the ones which really need to access the internet can go through the net gateway. Hope this helps. We'll do a lab soon. It's very simple and should be fun. Thanks. Bye.